Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 27th April 2019. I am Sagan Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company or its trading systems, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we we'll go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument, superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will analyze the commodities oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align the trades with the market's direction. We'll study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with market's direction, we like to align them with industry strength. We'll study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may review some of the recent trade ideas shared in our Traders Forum. If I don't do that, you may access the Traders Forum from our homepage. It is open to the public. And we will also look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, after displaying the bullish headwind signal, the green dot. At the very bottom, oil went up substantially. Few weeks ago, price came to the long term memory resistance line. At that time, in the weekly market roundup, I mentioned that if you were holding a long position, you might be cautious. For two weeks, oil moved sideways. It couldn't break above the memory resistance line. This week, initially price opened up but closed lower below the same memory resistance line. In the daily chart, price is continuing to be in an uptrend. Last week in the market roundup, I mentioned that as price was at the upper boundary line, we were not going to take any long trade. This week, it displayed the bearish headwind signal in the daily chart at the very top and then it dropped for three successive days. Looking at the bearish headwind signal, if you were holding a long position, you would be cautious. You might protect profit using trailing stop. Price is still going in an uptrend and there is no standard Q trade setup in oil right now. Gold ETF GLD in the weekly chart, 
price is going down we have a memory resistance line and the next memory support line is some distance away in the daily chart also we can see that the price is coming down it is bound by memory resistance line at the higher end there is no nearby memory support line in this area gold went up for three successive weeks however the backdrop candle color remained magenta looking at that i mentioned that it was not a time to take long position in gold that analysis was useful because gold dropped from there using the daily chart when you had this magenta color candle in the daily chart a bearish flow color candle you could take a trend following go with flow short trade at that time if you didn't take that the next go with flow short trade opportunity came on this day this was 11th april you could either take a short trade in gold itself or you could look for weak fundamental gold mining stock and look for a short opportunity there looking back you can see that once again the bearish headwind could catch the very top of gold on 11th april if you took the trend following short trade in gold you could book at least partial profit this week when price came to the lower boundary you could continue to hold on to partial position next week if gold comes down again gives us a magenta color candle that may give us another go with flow trend following short trade setup on 11th april when gld gave a trend following go with flow short trade setup i was watching the gold mining stocks and i found a bearish trade in a gold miner wpm i had shared that in a twitter post at that time let us see using q charts how you could take a short trade in wpm based on the weakness of gold as a commodity and then further weakness of the gold mining stock itself WPM using weekly daily at a glance template in the weekly chart the bearish headwind could catch the very top in the daily chart this day was 11th april that was the day when gld gave a go with flow trend following short trade setup and this gold miner broke below the memory support line giving a possible breakout short trade setup that was the day when i shared it on our twitter page i took the short trade using synthetic stock short position with a protective call further out of the money on this day 24th april i closed my position that was a very profitable trade how profitable was the trade i shared the result also in our twitter page on 11th april you could open the synthetic position for 14 cents debit and on 24th april you could close the position for 1.37 cents credit it was almost 10 times profit in less than 2 weeks from commodities analysis we move on to market breadth analysis we are studying market breadth using nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index both using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume 
because this analysis is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval you may use this for longer term investment decisions and also for swing trading but not for day trading nasdaq was outperforming nyse and that continued this week nasdaq weekly candle color is bullish cyan nyse went up however if you look back for several weeks now for practical purposes it is moving sideways the weekly candle color of nyse is neutral yellow the internals are also bullish all the six internals went up and all of them close above zero market is bullish however you may be cautious because both nasdaq and nyse are overbought even in the weekly charts and nasdaq is at a price level where we had a bearish headwind earlier which could lead to a price drop let's have a look at the market etfs S&P 500 ETF SPY in the weekly chart price went up strongly the candle shape is bullish long hollow candle however the candle color turned yellow that is neutral on a closing basis SPY made a new all time high it closed just below this watermark resistance level you may watch to see if price comes down from the watermark resistance level or even better if price can go above the watermark resistance and then comes down giving us a false upside breakout if that happens then you may look for shorting opportunities in weak fundamental stocks that are overvalued and that are giving low risk short entry on technical charts in the daily chart spy is supported by multiple memory support lines you may not take any short trade in spy until these memory supports are broken at the right edge price is above upper boundary level that is to extended to take any new long trade spy is overbought in the daily chart as well as in the weekly chart nasdaq 100 etf qqq weekly is showing clearly bullish move this week's candle shape and color both are bullish it could comfortably close above the watermark resistance line and made a new all time high if price can turn down from here and comes below the watermark resistance that will create a false upside breakout if that happens then you may look for short opportunities in underlying stocks that are fundamentally overvalued and giving low risk technical short opportunity in the daily chart price is supported by memory support line similar to spy you may not look for any short trade in qqq until the memory supports are broken price is at upper boundary level to overbought to take any new long position in qqq the overbought condition is also shown by the overbought band indicator stretch band indicator in both weekly as well as daily charts dow jones industrials etf dia this is not as bullish as spy and qqq that is also shown clearly by the relative performance line which is rapidly tilting down here the weekly candle color 
is neutral and the shape is also indecisive. Dia couldn't make a new all-time high. However, it is pretty close to that. In the daily chart, price is going in an uptrend. It is close to the upper boundary level. There is no Q trade setup in Dia right now. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. This is also underperforming the market. That is shown by the relative performance line tilting down. And this is also farthest away from making a new all time high. This week's candle shape is bullish, however, the color is neutral. And for four weeks, price is moving practically sideways. That is seen from the daily chart also. It is not able to break above these watermark resistance levels. There is a memory support. If price can break below the memory trend line, then you may look for short opportunity in either IWM or E, one of the overvalued constituent stocks. Right now, there is no Q trade setup in IWM. One month sector performance. Here we are studying the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of this week, green bar performance of previous week, and the blue bar performance of two weeks before that. Together they give us about one month of sector performance. Any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up. Any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. This week, eight of the sectors went up, three went down. Overall, that is showing a bullish picture of the market. However, if you look carefully, out of the five best performers, four, that is healthcare, real estate, utilities and consumer staples. These four are actually in defensive sectors. And the three worst performers are energy, materials and industrials. These are not defensive sectors. Though more sectors went up than decline, defensive sectors were leading. That is not showing as bullish a picture as the market ETFs or market indices are showing. That is one reason you may be cautious and take long trades in sectors that are going up. Avoid taking longs in sectors that are declining. Another look at the sectors this time using QH sector scorecard and heat map. Here all the sectors are analyzed across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods of 10 days, 5 days, etc. QH creates a scorecard and heat map. Cyan color represents strength and magenta represents weakness. Looking under the 5 days column, we can see financial and healthcare are the best performing sectors. You may look for buying opportunities there. And you may avoid buying into the weakest sectors that are energy, materials and industrials. Other than the scorecard showing strength and weakness, QH also calculates acceleration and deceleration and shows that in the pace column. Cyan represents acceleration and magenta represents deceleration. Healthcare is the most accelerating sector. 
and it is also the best performing sector. You may look for buying opportunities here. Real estate is the second most accelerating sector. It was underperforming the other sectors for a while. The score was in magenta color. Now it is accelerating. You may look for some value buying opportunities in this sector. If you look at the decelerating sectors, the most decelerating sectors are information technology and industrials. This is showing a slightly different picture from what we saw during market ETF analysis. Market ETF analysis showed that QQQ, that is the technology ETF, is the strongest. However, from the sector scorecard, we see information technology is not the strongest and it is also one of the most decelerating sectors. Therefore, we can conclude that the strength of QQQ is not broad based. It is probably due to some of the large market cap stocks going up, probably because of their earnings announcement. You may be cautious while taking long trades in information technology sector and you may even look for short trades because it is one of the most decelerating sector. These are the conclusions you can arrive at from the sector level analysis. However, like the market level, sector level is quite broad. To make more accurate decisions, you may drill down into the industry level and buy into strong industries and short into weak industries. Best performing industries. We are looking at 10 of the best performers this week. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 days scores. Healthcare as a sector was the strongest and we have 4 industries from that sector in this list. These are managed healthcare, healthcare facilities, healthcare technology and healthcare services. In Q-Technique, we look for buying opportunities aligning all the forces in our trades favor. That is, we like to buy into strong industries, stocks with good fundamentals and stocks that are giving low risk buy points. Going by that technique, we call that Q360 degrees approach. You are going to only look for buying opportunities here and avoid shorting. Accelerating industries. This may be behind others, but they are gaining momentum. These are also industries where you will look for buying opportunities and avoid shorting. Which sector is dominant among the accelerating industries? It is healthcare again. Managed healthcare, healthcare equipment, life science tools and services, biotech, pharmaceutical, healthcare supplies, healthcare facilities. Seven of the ten most accelerating industries are in healthcare sector. There is no doubt which sector you may look into for finding buying opportunities at this time. Coming back to our Twitter page, on April 24, I shared an analysis on a healthcare stock CYH. It was a value stock as seen from Q Vital scorecard and it was going up from memory trend line support. I had attached the Q360 degrees analysis snapshots with the Twitter post. Later on, I submitted a forum topic 
with the same snapshots. Let's have a look at that. You can search for the symbol to look for the exact topic. This was the forum post. This was the forum post. Let's have a look at the Q360 degrees snapshots that I shared in this forum post and also in the Twitter page. CYH industry healthcare facilities. It was weak earlier. The score was in magenta color and then in the latest periods, the score turned cyan showing that it was strengthening. CYH fundamental scorecard using vital. The valuation score is in cyan color showing that it was optimal. Showing that it was optimally valued. It has earnings on 30th April. Therefore, if you are taking any long position before that, you may use an instrument and strategy that takes into account possible large moves during the earnings period. Another approach could be to wait for the earnings to be over and then take a long position. The stock has robust earnings quality and also a short squeeze potential. When I shared it, on that day, it went up by 6.8%. In the technical charts, the stock found support at the weekly memory auto smart trend line and it was going up with a bullish shape candle. It also displayed a bull release signal. In the daily chart, it had support from daily memory trend line, displayed bullish headwind possible reversal signal and then it was going up. When I shared the stock in the Twitter and forum pages, it was breaking above the memory resistance line. There were multiple bullish signals on the Q technical charts. You could take the long trade using the bullish headwind signal or the breaking of this first memory resistance line. However, if you did that, you would be watchful about how the stock behaves when it comes to the next memory resistance line. If it can break out of that and continues to go up, you may continue to hold the position, at least partial position and try to let profit run. On the other hand, if the stock starts to decline from the next memory resistance line, you may decide at that point whether to book profit in the trade or to hedge the position using options or use some other trading strategy. This was an example of a trade idea that you could generate based on Q360 degrees technique analysis looking at the sector acceleration, sector strength, industry strength, fundamental value of the stock, short squeeze potential and also multiple bullish signals on technical charts. Let's have a look at the healthcare industries using QH. We start with the sector scorecard and heat map. As we already discussed, healthcare sector is now the best performing sector over one week, five days period. And it is also the most accelerating sector as is shown by the base five days column. If we look at the industries, we can sort them by five days performance. 
the best performing industries are shown by cyan color under 5 days column. Multiple healthcare industries are among the top performers. To find the most accelerating industries, you could sort by paste column by double clicking on that column header. And you can see multiple healthcare industries are among the most accelerating industries as well. You could see these strength changes and accelerations taking place in real time using QH and identify potential trading opportunities well ahead of others. Probably like how I could identify CYH using Q360 degrees technique. From the sector scorecard, you can also see that real estate is the second most accelerating sector. Let's drill down into the real estate industries. These are the real estate industries. If we sort by five days performance, we can see they are stronger than earlier periods. However, not among the strongest industries. The strongest industries will have cyan color and the score will also display in bold case. However, if you look at the pace column, you can see several of them are in cyan color and also in bold case showing they are among the most accelerating industries. Just like healthcare accelerated a while ago, real estate is accelerating now. You may start looking for value buying opportunities in real estate industries in the next week. Worst performing industries. Just like you would look for buying opportunities in best performing industries, you would look for only shorting opportunities in worst performing industries. And you would also protect profit in any existing position you may have. Technology, hardware, storage and peripherals is one of the worst performers. Let's have a look at the decelerating industries now. Decelerating industries, these were stronger earlier but are losing momentum and you would look for shorting opportunities and avoid buying. You would also protect profit in existing long position that you may have. We find the same industry here, technology hardware, storage and peripherals among the most decelerating industries. It was one of the worst performers also. It is decelerating and became one of the worst performers. You may be extra cautious about long positions you may be holding here. Another industry that caught my attention in this list is semiconductors. Not so long ago, it was one of the best performers. Now it is one of the most decelerating industries. You may be cautious if you are holding any long position in semiconductors. Let's have a look at these industries, technology hardware, storage and peripherals and semiconductors using QH. Both of those industries are in information technology sector. As I highlighted earlier, the sector is not one of the best performers this week. It is actually one of the most decelerating sectors that is at odds with the strong performing QQQ ETF. Let's drill down into the sector. Instantly using the heat map and scorecard, you can see that technology hardware, storage and peripherals is the worst performer 
among the information technology industries and the base column is showing it is the most decelerating as well in this list you could identify this insight in real time using QH and take appropriate trading decisions what about semiconductors the five days score shows that it is in the middle in terms of performance the base column is showing that it is one of the worst performers in terms of deceleration there is another semiconductor related industry that is semiconductor equipment its five day score is also in the middle however the base column is showing that that is also decelerating this may be the time to book or protect profit in any long position you may be holding in semiconductor industries those were the regular topics let me summarize before i end the market is bullish all the market etfs are supported by memory support trend lines you may not look for any short opportunity in the ETFs until the memory support lines are broken though the market indices and the market ETFs are quite bullish when we look at other aspects of the market we have some reason for concern one is of course that the ETFs are overvalued even in the weekly interval and then when we look at the sectors though more sectors went up than decline the best performing sectors are mostly in defensive areas that is another reason for concern we also saw that some of the market leading industries like semiconductors is decelerating this is earning season the market may go up and take stocks along with it the market may go down and take stocks along with that and also stocks may go suddenly up or down based on earnings results you may take extra care while taking trades and deploy a strategy that takes into account the impending earnings date of a stock whatever be the market condition using q360 degrees technique you can always find low risk high probability trades where you align the forces from industry fundamental and technical level together you may go through our traders forum and twitter and facebook post to see more examples of such q360 degree trade ideas that is all for today's session thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in our next session have a great week and trade profitably